Wanted to give everyone a look at all the nibbles going on in here. So with the cat eye mantises, these all are doing great in this setup. I haven't had a single loss from cannibalism. They're very cowardly mantises. But as you can see, when the fruit or when the bottle flies aren't hatching, I use superworms. And I literally just open up the front of the superworm and tap their heads to the mantis's mouth and they usually grab right a hold. Sometimes it'll take a moment or two because they're intimidated. But we have, what do we have in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mantises in here. Eleven. And they're all in this giant big monster. Let's see how big this guy is. So other than that, they've I just missed this every couple days, and usually the flies are hatching out of here. We're just currently seeing a lag, and I wanted to make sure everybody was well fed. So those are my cat eye mantises. And yeah, very fun species to work with. I would recommend them as a communal. Again, they do need a larger setup. They're quite a monstrous animal to molt. These are the an adult female here is yay big. But they're so gentle, very peaceful. Just keeping one's fine. You don't need a communal, but this is this is my communal setup that people have kind of asked about wanting to see. I haven't had any special heating. This room stays at about 75. And they have been thriving. I have one that's a few molts behind that I keep separated. She had a lost limb, and that limb caused her to kind of slow down on her molting. That little one back there is just clean and doesn't have... That's the only one that dropped its food. Cool. Thanks for taking a look at the setup. Any questions, let me know. I usually, like I said, hatch out flies for them, but in an emergency like this, they take superworms just fine, and it'll fill them right up for a couple days.